Ukraine's drone war against Russian Shahed. 136 loitering munitions just got a new boost with the Sting Interceptor from the Ukrainian startup Wild Hornets. This $2,500 first person view combat drone has been recorded flying at speeds of up to 195 miles per hour, nearly the same as a bullet train, and almost double the velocity of the Shaheds it's designed to destroy. In a recent test video shared by the company, the Sting maintained stable flight while hitting 315 kilometers per hour, making it one of the fastest interceptor drones currently in combat use although the independent verification of the speed is still pending. This development is a direct response to evolving Russian tactics. The Shahed 136, which typically flies at around 115 miles per hour, has become harder to counter as Russia has started launching them in larger swarms, sometimes in combination with ballistic missiles to overwhelm Ukraine's air defenses. On top of that, modifications to allow the drones to fly higher and faster have reduced the effectiveness of Ukraine's machine gun-based interception teams. For an interceptor to be effective, it must be able to detect and catch up to and collide with or disable the target, making speed a decisive factor. When the Sting was first revealed in late 2024, it already surpassed the 100 miles per hour mark, but the latest recorded speeds show double or triple improvement in performance. Wild Hornets claims that the Sting has already been used to destroy around 100 Shaheds in combat, though the scale of deployment remains unclear. Even so, this number is small compared to the massive drone waves Ukraine faces. In July alone, Russia launched more than 6,000 Shaheds and decoys. President Volodymyr Zelensky has made it clear that Ukraine plans to scale up production of these interceptors, aiming to manufacture 1,000 per day. At present, Ukrainian forces manage to intercept 86 to 89 percent of incoming Shaheds. But even with these high success rates, several hundred still penetrate defenses each month. The introduction of faster, cheaper, and more agile interceptors like the Sting could help close that gap, especially as Russia experiments with jet-powered versions of the Shahed capable of reaching speeds of up to 500 miles per hour.